I'm here to totally squash the misconception that every single runner needs to carb load before a race because it's absolutely not true. When you eat a carbohydrate, it's burned up within 90 minutes. So let's think of it as throwing a piece of kindling on a fire and so it ignites it, but then it burns out super fast. And when you eat those carbohydrates or those sugars, your body produces lactic acid and that's what makes it sore and your body will eventually shut down as it accumulates. The answer to keep you going and have a sustained fuel all through the race would be fat, which is like putting a big fat log on the fire that burns forever and ever. Your body can burn fat forever and best of all, there is no lactic acid metabolism when you're eating fat. So the answer is fat versus carb because you're gonna get a long sustained energy source that's not gonna burn out. So by making your body fat adapted, you're tapping into that source of fuel. How do you do that? Super simple, you restrict carbohydrates. And you don't do this the day of race because obviously you're gonna bonk and hit the wall, but by training properly before the race, starting with a small amount of time and either doing it fasted or by taking in the right foods, which would be like avocado, a tablespoon of MCT oil, coconut oil, highly fat foods that aren't full of carbohydrates, and each time you train, increasing the time and the intensity, trains your body to do it. Come race day, even if you wanna have some carbohydrates tucked away just in case, I'm willing to bet you will not need them. So even after not running all winter, I can still go out and whip out 10 or 11 miles on my first run, no problem, because I live a fat adapted lifestyle and I have that fat to fuel me. Another example would be my friend Brandon who does ultra marathons. And when he was carb loading, he got to mile 60, which is still great, but it was still 40 miles shy of his goal, which crushed him uh, mentally. He was puking, his body was giving out, but when he redid it the second time with no carb loading and fat adapted, not only did he finish the 100 miles, but he finished strong. So that did something to him, not physically, but mentally. And so that's just a prime example of the fat fueled runner. So if you like this information, go ahead and give me a like guys and I will be releasing more videos just to put out the information and give you valuable tidbits here and there. And this is Stephanie with Vitality Health Solutions.